Newly released video taken above the new eruption on Mauna Loa shows the evolving activity high of a northeast rift zone of the giant Hawaii Island volcano. Of the three fissures that were erupting Monday, only one was still active by the afternoon. Scientists estimated the tallest fountain heights were between 100 to 200 feet or about 30 to 60 meters, but most were a few yards tall. As of early Monday evening, the active fissure was feeding lava flows that were moving east, parallel to the rift zone above the 10,000-foot elevation. The lava was over 10 miles away from Saddle Road. Scientists say additional fissures could open below the current location and lava flows can continue to travel downslope. On Monday, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory published a new map. The single active fissure is marked in dark purple, while the lava flows it produced are marked by red dots. The observatory says cloudy weather hampered mapping efforts on Monday, but more complete lava flow maps are expected in the coming days. On the ground, officials were busy securing the area around the eruption, such as the Mona Loa Forest Reserve and manning roadblocks. Uh, just right now, just closure to keep uh, people out of the area, keep people safe, and allow us to gather more information so that we have an idea where exactly is going to be impacted. Uh, presently, we're working on closing the Mauna Loa Forest Reserve and the Kipukahainaho Nene Sanctuary, which is where it looks like the lava may be heading. Well, obviously, the biggest concern we have right now is public resources, you know, people's property being impacted. But if we do have impacts to the forest reserves, one of the areas we're most concerned about would be the Pu'umaka'ala Natural Area Reserve. There's a lot of endangered species and um, really good forest habitat up there that we'd hate to see lost. The U.S. Coast Guard Joint Rescue Coordination Center Honolulu answered the call from the Hawaii County Civil Defense, supporting an aerial observation flight over the eruption. A C-130 Hercules aircrew from Air Station Barbers Point conducted the flight, with various government officials on board. Video footage taken from the C-130 shows the progression of the lava flow. Big Island Video News will be following the eruption as it develops, and we will be updating our media channels throughout the day.